case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 1982 case Hawthorne v. State, a contested decision by the Florida District Court of Appeal hinged on the admissibility of certain evidence and the crucial need for such evidence to be legally procured. The defendant, America Hawthorne, had initially faced a conviction of first-degree murder. However, this verdict was later challenged and overturned due to several mistakes identified during the proceedings of the original trial. The central argument was around the state's use of Ms. Hawthorne's first trial testimony to impugn her credibility during the second trial. The defendant's team objected to this tactic, claiming the testimony was obtained through illegal methods. Additionally, the court found faults in the handling of different pieces of evidence by the original trial court. This evidence included allegations of the deceased's sexual misconduct and a taped statement by Ms. Hawthorne. The court also criticized the exclusion of expert testimony on the battered woman syndrome from Dr. Lenore Walker, a clinical psychologist. Eventually, the appellate court sided with the defendant. It ruled not only that the conviction be reversed, but also established guidelines on the admissibility of evidence, particularly in relation to expert testimonies on subjects such as the battered woman syndrome. Emphasizing the need for the expert to be properly qualified and the topic adequately developed, the court concluded that such testimonies were admissible, given they could provide insight to aid jury evaluations. The court concluded its review by directing a retrial for further proceedings. This marked the second retrial America Hawthorne faced in the case of her husband's murder, a complicated legal journey underscored by complex questions around permissible evidence and the conduct of trials. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.